All right, so our leading question was how do chloroplasts and mitochondria cooperate as plant cells convert light energy to chemical energy? And it's a pretty interesting question. And the two main components are the chloroplast and the mitochondria. These are two double membraned organelles and they're both located in the cytoplasm. So they're, they do have some similarities, but their big differences is that uh, chloroplasts do photosynthesis and mitochondria do cellular respiration. And these are the two chemical reactions that we're gonna be taking a look at. And they are actually a coupled reaction. Okay, so in the organelle of the chloroplast, the important reaction of photosynthesis takes place. You have your reagents of CO2, H2O, and the all-important sunlight right there. Um, so the chloroplast takes that in, it does the chemical reaction. The formula is six carbon dioxide plus six H2O or water goes to glucose and six molecules of oxygen. All right, so this is a picture of the mitochondria and this is the basics of the um, cellular respiration cycle, kind of. <clears throat> We've got glycolysis, citric acid cycle, and ox oxidative phosphorylation. These are the three main steps of uh, cellular respiration. At each step, you have a, a small amount of ATP being generated until you get to oxidative phosphorylation where about 32 ATP are generated. Um, the main reagents and products in cellular respiration, we've got glucose and oxygen for the reagents and carbon dioxide, water, and obviously ATP for products. And <clears throat> this carbon dioxide is actually coming from the citric acid cycle here. Um, so our uh, chemical formula is actually going to be um, glucose C6H12O6 reacts with six um, oxygen gas molecules to create uh, six CO2 and six H2O. And yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so here we have our equations for photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Um, so again, we have carbon dioxide and water and sunlight. Goes to the chloroplast um, to make glucose and oxygen gas. And then, as you can see in cellular respiration, the glucose that is made in photosynthesis is um, oxidized to the oxygen to make carbon dioxide and H2O which results in the for, um, formation of cellular energy and ATP. All right, yeah, so we've got basically two exact opposite reactions, except there's two missing um, inputs, really. There's the sunlight and the ATP. This is your light energy that you're gonna get from the sun, and this ATP is in the form of like a molecule, so that's chemical energy, and that is used throughout the cell and many other cells to, to um, you know, drive reactions.